Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vanny Hensel, back with Cart by Vanguard, Dear Days video. So if you don't like, come subscribe, and subscribe. We, and also what we to do is we took on Mika and Tatsuki in order to find out why they stepped down from being leaders of their own respective teams. And in their fights, they made Toya realize something. That in the end, a leader is just a title. And in reality, you don't need to put all these expectations on yourself. And the best part about that was, I was about to go on some stupid bit, because I actually didn't remember what they said until after, I, until literally right before I said the first word about him being a leader so anyway shuffle these two back this time we I, I, I plan on finishing it here on ending the story because I do want this to kind of be like done and dusted you know because I, I do enjoy this don't get me wrong but um, I do want to finish up the one quote-unquote big deer days project that's coming up and that'll essentially be the very last deer days video so well Maybe not video, but like definitely the end of the series if it's more than one video. So I kind of want to get to that as soon as possible. But um, I am going to enjoy Toya's story while it lasts because if I paid attention correctly, I think our final match might be Donji. I hope it's Donji because that means that after I beat him, hopefully I beat this guy on the first try, I can then fight against Tamari, then I can fight Donji, and okay, well, my mulligan did absolutely nothing then. Ditch this, ride Nahalem. Something tells me. You know what? Where is it? Don't yell at me for this. I know what I'm doing is stupid. I don't care. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this anyways. If he pulls a trigger, he pulls a trigger. If he doesn't, he doesn't. That's just how life works. Um, you know what? I wonder. What are the odds of this working in my favor? I'm just curious. Apparently, the odds were exactly the way I thought they would be. Let's go. I am victorious, see a draw, a crit, or a heal, something along those lines. I said a draw, a crit, or a heal, and it gave me exactly what I wanted. Um, because I know he runs front, I might as well power up the one, this run right here, because Bar's gonna get the 5k anyways. Question is, should I rush the Vanguard? Well, I can kill rear guards whenever I feel like it is the thing. But, I, okay, you know, here, we'll, we'll do a test. I'll swing with Burning Thill into Vanguard, and if he takes it, then we'll rush... If, okay, well, I guess I'm rushing then. Or scratch that, I guess I'm killing the rear guard. The other part about that plan that I wanted to do, so... Cool! Thanks, Tatsuki, you made my life much easier by wasting two triggers and also meaning I can get rid of your board all in the same turn. Thank you, good sir. I knew you are my favorite character for a reason. No, I'm serious, no, Tatsuki is my favorite character. Uh, anyways, ride that. Don't be two triggers, please. I feel bad for last game where I literally just, you know kind of trigger sacked him to death, what I want to say was PVD, so I... Okay, I don't like this aspect either. I'd rather you don't rush me, but um, I don't think I have much say in the matter. Okay, so what needs to happen is I need to see a trigger. He needs to see no triggers, and I... That's pretty much the extended point of the situation, so... Good sir, if you don't mind, don't kill me here. I need to live and win. Fuck. Oh, uh, wait, is that- wait, is that the heal that does good against- uh, Ah! No, I- Ah, god damn it, I didn't see the effect. And that doesn't help much either. I mean, I could guard and intercept, but the thing is, I kind of want to use that card for discarding of the Overlord, and also, I- You know, it's just a whole thing, so... There's that. I also don't have good discard fodder for ride decks. So worst case scenario, if I have discard that, I will. And no draw trigger. You, you could have shown up like five seconds ago, man. Also, why am I losing all of my crits? That's literally all my burning flails out. I don't know how many crits I run, but that's all my burning flails out. That's for damn sure. Okay, ditch, right overlord. Skill of Nahalem. I'll call this back here. I love how this theme just fits overlord casually. I don't know if these are all unique themes for their respective grade threes, but it is good for overlord. Uh, just so you can't block him, we're gonna put the power on Vanguard. Because, you know, they can't block from hand, but they can intercept, so might as well make sure so they can't intercept this. 
And I don't want you living longer than you have to, so. 5k to both these children. Worst case scenario, if I can't kill him this turn, I just rush to the vanguard. Or I, I kill his rear guards, but uh, if I can see one crit, I'll be happy. See a crit. Okay, cool. Um, all in on Van, so he has to PG it. And then, because, yeah. And then second check. And if I remember correctly, that drive check wasn't a PG. It was... So he might have a PG in hand, but like it's basically going to involve him dropping his last unknown card, which is preferred. But anyway, skill of Overlord, because the attack hit. Power Blast 1, we'll drop a Prowling Strike to restand him. And then we'll use skill of Prowling Strike, or not Prowling Strike, Performer Burn. I don't know why I keep confusing that thing's name. But I'll give it to Overlord in case he does have Natalie, because we know he runs Natalie. So therefore, he has to basically PG this, no matter what. And I don't think he will, regardless of the situation that may be. So this is pretty much a guarantee he's going to 5 this turn, most likely. Unless like he pulls triggers, but we'll see what happens. Okay, no triggers, that's kind of expected. How many- do I have a Persona right in hand for the end, or either, really? I don't, to my knowledge, because I just saw them like in a quick glance. Yeah, I don't, but I do have a good defensive card for next turn. And there's the front trigger that I knew about. Okay. So instead of rushing Van, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Because he's gonna intercept it anyways. Well, that gives me a chance to root the heal does. Okay, that was the second battle one then. I fucking knew it. Um, well, might as well push him to four then. So... There's that. No trigger. Oh, great, it was a PG too. I'm glad I chose to do that then. So... <laughs> he should have just taken the attack, but I guess he didn't want to. And I just not realized... Oh, I was right! It was a front trigger. But anyways, um, I guess Tatsuki's one of the characters that has Boku no turn. I don't know why, that just feels like a weird thing to me when a character has Boku no turn. It just is a thing, I guess, but... Anyways, counter boss one, drop one to add one to hand, one to soul, and then call the other. There's no way in hell it was that worth dropping a PG. Well, um, I shouldn't have done certain actions today, but I'm just gonna say you won't pull a front first. Okay, and I was right. Now just don't pull it and over and I live. That's not better, but it's fine, I guess. Because, sadly, the end doesn't Persona Ride, which is what they should have done with the cards. They give them Persona Rides, like, you know, the Thegria cards do, or... What's the other, like, alternate grade threes that, like, act as Persona Rides? Who is it? Oh, yeah, like, the Dragil, or not, like, the Drag. Well, yeah, like, Dragil is, and, like, you know, the, um... Trial deck ones with Youthberg and Leonor. Anyways, I am taking this 100% of the way. I don't know why you didn't just swing with that one first to make these numbers even, but sure. I made a misplay last game too, with or my last Dragil game with that, so I guess it makes sense that someone else will make a misplay too. And let's do this. Stand and draw, ride into Dragonic Overlord at the end. There's my first PG of the game. And I might as well use Nahalem just to make the Vanguard a little bit better of attacker. So, Soul Blast 1 at 5k to itself in the Vanguard, but we're still going to keep it in the back row because overall the Burning Dragons are going to be hitting for 20k, so might as well. Or without the effect of triggers anyways. 23, he's probably going to take this one, so I'm hoping I see a crit to, well actually he'll probably block the Vanguard second attack anyways. But I'm hoping to see a, one of my last remaining crits just to at least push him to 5, therefore he's forced to block everything. Or, yeah, so, heal trigger. Um, recover that power here, because Bar is already going to be a 13k base anyways, and that column's already at 33, so there's that. Second check, no triggers. Okay, so I'm out of burnings. I'm now realizing I don't have a grade 3 in hand for Persona Rides. So next turn might not be final turn either. Though, I can do this. 5k, and if the AI is stupid... I can get away with this. Counter Blast 1, drop 2, send you to soul, and we'll pump up this. Now AI, be stupid and only intercept this. Please. Because I, what I'm banking on is the AI intercepts, I pull a trigger, and therefore I kill a rear guard, a guard power, and also deal a damage all in one go. Fuck, the AI called my bluff. God damn it. First check. Uh, okay, fine. I don't get to do fun plays. Crit. Well, I'm 
think I'm either out of heals or there's one left because I also have the over out as the thing. So, I'm, basically in the heal department, I'm not looking the greatest. He's gonna pull it down trigger. Yep. But hey, next turn's game though. I just have to make it there and hopefully I draw into a persona I have to kill him with, which in hindsight is doubtful considering I literally sent back three ends earlier, but I'm just checking how many heals are out. Uh, okay, I have one left. Great. Anyways, 43 to Vanguard, big ass number, easy take. Don't pull a heal. Thank you, good sir. Okay, now I have to survive a possible persona ride and just a whole lot of bullshit. Oh, he doesn't persona ride. Great. But he could have a Mikani accessible from this. And he loses another PG. Dude, there's no way this was, that was worth it in that hand. There is no way in hell the PG was not better than the other card. So, but whatever, I guess. Um... You know, in this situation, it's do better to do this. Damage check, critical trigger, okay. Now, because I don't know if his over is out or not, I'm gonna take the van- well, I'm gonna check his soul first, but I'm gonna take the vanguard. Oh. Never mind that. Also, I didn't mean take the vanguard, I meant PG the vanguard, but considering the over is in soul, I mean, okay, that makes it a little bit harder. Um, 53 is exactly enough for a no pass, so... No pass, good sir. I'm glad I double checked. I was about to just PG it outright, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I should check just in case if you soul charge it, because I remember that whenever you selectively soul charge something, nope, the other person doesn't get to see it. So maybe I should just check it, and I'm glad I listened to that instinct. Anyways, free soul charge for him. Uh, how much is this to guard? Actually, this would be an ideal situation for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to guard and intercept. Just so I can try to deck the next turn, because I want to see if I can, uh, you know, get out and end. Even if I'm not going to be able to Persona Ride next turn, I do at least want to increase my chance of seeing whatever triggers remain. Though preferably I top deck into a Persona Ride. Well, it's not a Persona Ride, but final turn. Um, I like how Toya has an entire speech and, no, and everyone else pretty much has one line, unless they're playing against a specific character. But again, I say Toya always has a specific speech that he just plans out for whatever reason. Anyways, uh, yep, Persona right to hand, and we'll call Gojo for the sake of pressure. We'll use your skill to soul blast out that at 5,000 to the Vanguard and yourself. And then we just swing with the Vanguard. I know for a damn fact he's either out of PGs or he only has one left. The over's in soul. He's lost at least three of his heals plus the over. So at best he has one heal left. All around, this is not a good situation for him in terms of living. And I'm pretty sure he just drove like a grade three, right? So he has less chance of being able to survive this in terms of guarding power. Yeah, he's taking this crit. Well, it's a heal. That's not preferred, but it's, I guess, what I got. Um... Power here, I guess. And then second check, maybe my last crit. Okay, I guess that just says screw me then. But power here. And okay, cool, we got discard power for next turn. Anyways, 41 for game. Yep. Easy peasy. There we go. That was a good one though that uh we are that we were on even terms there. I lost. Yes, you lost, good sir. I'm sorry, but you fought well. That was actually a good match. Because you had me a little bit oh, I have got two more lag girls. Great. That might actually come in handy in my next match, who knows? And this is the only area with fights left. Okay. So if I'm right, Donji's the final fight. But I was also saying before that it was Yu Yu that was there. I said before that it would be Mire from Donji's story and it wasn't. It was Yu Yu for whatever reason. Um Where what deck was I about to play? You know, I just played Overlord. Let's give MLB a chance to shine again. Cause fuck it. Against prison. In hindsight, this is not a good matchup for me. Or at least the way I play this deck is not a good matchup for me. Yeah! Okay, I called it. I was about to pick Scissors, but I was like, wait, no. It's Tamari. She's gonna pick Rock again. I'm gonna bet, bet it on that, and I'm glad I did. But, <laughs> cool. This is gonna go either very horribly for me or very well for me. And, okay, ditching the crit then. To ride Merit, and then hopefully I don't misclick next turn and lose my twin drive. Pass the turn there. Okay, she does the normal ride. I wonder if she, and she dropped a grade one too, so the question is will she rest the vanguard? She might on it like someone knowing this situation might honestly You motherfucker. Well, I was right. Someone like her might actually do it, and did she just soul charge three grade ones? 
Oh, no, she didn't. She just soul charged three normal units. Something that never happens to me. Um, well, that's a kick in the teeth, not gonna lie, but you know what's on the plus side of this? I get to add a blaster to hand, so I... Who's the real winner here? Me and not me at the same time. And you know, actually... You know what? Fuck it. I fear nothing. I am gonna live to regret those words in a hot second, I know. But, and I don't even know why I call it that, considering it's not gonna make a difference. But, trigger? Thank God. Okay. Yeah, because, like, no matter what, if she pulls a trigger that was only 17k base, I needed to pull a trigger regardless for Blaster Blade to hit if she pulls a trigger in response, which thankfully she didn't. Uh, but, um, 27 mega. Listen, Tamar, if you're gonna see you're over at all this game, let it be now, because I don't want you to kill me when you're on Pure Light. Okay, I guess sort of PG, which is good. It's like great. But I'm starting to like think, maybe Toya's final fight's gonna be Yu Yu. Cause I could see if like Donji's final fight was um Yu Yu. I guess it would make kind of sense for his final fight to be Yu Yu as well. But I don't really know and you're going to Don't take my last rear guard, please. Well that didn't go as planned at all! Here, have that, I guess. Fuck! Mate! Tamari, stop! Jesus, lady! Oh. Uh, okay, so do you run three, or is the last one in hand? You know, it doesn't matter. I'm taking this. Kind of because if I guard that, it's going to send the card to prison immediately. So, any trigger? Thank you, good sir. I'm safe. I'm guarding Blaster Blade with my life. In hindsight, I should have put that on Blaster Blade, but it's fine. Yeah, because I wanted to use CB to kill Rear Guards next turn. Fuck. No, I'm not letting you touch that. End of story. So, wait. I put a Blaster Dark into there, though, right? Because I do want the drive check for now. Okay, I did. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to use the CB, and we're going to use one soul to try to fetch out all of our stuff in one go. So, ditch, ride MLB. Okay, skill this... First one, counter blast one, because I don't need C. Well, I want CD for this turn, but I don't need it. Uh, we're gonna call and we're gonna call. No, here and here. And we are not gonna use your skill because that's just stupid. And or at least for now it is. And then we're gonna use this one to soul blast out you, sadly, in order to fetch back the blaster dark in here. No, don't call it over Blaster Blade, that would be stupid. And we're gonna enter Battle Phase. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. 17, please double intercept this. Okay, you know what, that's fine. Screw you though for that, but that's fine. Here's what we do, MLB on swing, murder that. I know she's probably gonna, actually no, intercepting would just be still one to pass, so the AI is not dumb enough to do that, so. Send this to Soul. you die. And then send this to Soul. get a drive check, please take this. You know, it's fine. She dropped a PG while she's at grade 2. That in my book is a win. Any triggers? If I see a crit, I go to van. If I don't see a crit, I just kill the rear. I guess I'm going to van then. Uh, all effects here. Yeah, I guess but that's an on play, so it's fine. And we're in the same situation as last time, because I still don't know what that card is. Last check. No trigger, but hey, I, I got good pressure. Sadly, I don't have duplicates, but I do have two ways to get one out next turn, so we're not in a horrible situation. Anyways, 26 double critical. You are most likely taking this. Yep. No trigger. You know what would be funny? If that's a 5k and the AI would have willingly guarded and intercepted for it. That would have been great. Oh, wait, is the... I actually need to question this. Is the English turquoise in the game misprinted like it is in real life? Is it? Because I am curious. Oh, it's not. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you check Turquoise's original printing, it actually has 10k shield in English. You wanna know how I know this? I still have that copy in my tabletop deck profile. I'm not joking, I'm being legitimate serious. So, that's fun. Anyways, okay, so she's down two PGs. She doesn't have triple drive, thankfully. So, cool. Did she wink at me? You know what, sure, I'll just pretend like I saw that. Anyways, damage check, don't be a trigger. You know what, it's fine, because I'm going to put it on the rear guard, because the thing is, actually, yeah, because I, I just not realized if I put it on Van, it can't hit me. But I do want CB for next turn, because I want to make a board, you know, especially because I know she has a PG, I want to rush as much of that out of hand as possible, and then just kill her with MLB. So, oh, that sucks. I really wanted a Persona ride. God damn it. Well, let's see what we get with this. Oh, hi, Blaster Dark, that fixes one of my problems. Uh, fuck it, final turn. 
Anyways, um, skill of this. So, you know, if she ever brings out Pure Light, it's gonna be hell for her to even use it. Uh, one and two. Ichi Ni. And I will use your skill. Please let there be a blaster among these. I'm now realizing I didn't need to do that, but this saves me a... See, you know what? It's fine. This actually works out in my favor, because you want to know what? It saves me a um, CB so I can kill one more rear guard, so great. Anyway, speaking of which, CB1, kill that. And then Blaster Blade and uh, Battle Phase. Or Blaster Dark, I mean. Okay, here we go. 19 to Vanguard. Probably going to hard guard this, right? Wow. I... I don't know what to say. No! I did that specifically because I assumed she could guard the- You know, it's fine. You damage check pure light anyways. I- <laughs> Wow, that's- Damn. The counterattack really worked, didn't it? But it's not even a counterattack, I just pressured her. Uh, but okay, here we go. Let's see if this works out in my favor. The final match. Please let Donji be the finale. I'm pulling up into the cemetery, because I do it with everyone else, so I'm gonna do it. I, I'm tempted to pull up Breaking the Rock too is the thing, but I'll think about that. I'm glad to hear that Mirai enjoyed herself. Of course she did. I spent a full day showing her around Kanazawa. I'm not thinking about it. The only people from Team Black I haven't fought yet are Zaksku and um, Megumi, so this, so we might actually have another match with Yu Yu, and then that, those be the two people we fight. Donji! Uh, right, where to next? Um. <laughs> You're really pushing yourself too hard. I'm fine, really. So fine that I could go all out in a fight right now. In that case, why don't we do that just now? Huh? huh. Toya! Welcome back, Toya. I just fought you, Tamari. Hmm? You're looking good, Toya. Donji! Huh? Take me on! Huh? There's only one answer. Saying it in two words would be would be saying it in words would be too easy. I want to express it through a fight, and I want to find something out through this fight myself. Then let's get started. As I quickly pull up into, I'm not joking. I do have it pulled up, by the way. I'm ready for it. I'm going all out too. Here I come, Toya. Ikibase. Um, and my response, uh, whatever the fuck, Toya. I really wish I understood what Toya was saying at the time. Okay, let's do this for real. Cracking my knuckles for this one. Uh, Lagra, listen, buddy. You got a break. We might actually need you here, so... I'm gonna go scissors. Fuck, I knew I should've gone paper. Um, that means he's gonna have a... Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt hard. Oh, this is gonna hurt like hell, because he has unrivaled... Oh god, you have Megan too. Oh. Oh, right, your build can consistently hit 70. Oh, okay, this is gonna hurt like hell later. Ditch, right, and I like how as I say that I still ditch a PG anyways. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. More or less, kind of. This is gonna be he I can already foresee it. Be a draw if it's gonna be a trigger. I will 100% take a crit over a draw right now. Um, all effects to Vanguard. Though I am actually gonna need to draw a trigger probably in the next few turns to, you know, keep up pressure. But for now, this is fine. Okay, that takes out one brainwash. Second check. No. What is your skill? Why did your skill trigger specifically there? Is his skill one that allows him to sack heals more? Don't tell me he's able to sack. You know what? I'll figure it out when we get there. We'll burn that bridge once we cross it. But for now, let's just walk across Hot Coals of Fire, and I'm glad I took that because I wanted to draw trigger. And okay, we got another grade three. So when we get to grade three, we're immediately rushing. Here we go. Stand and draw. Okay, that's fine, but I am going to ditch it because he can't kill my rear guards. And to ride into Rooks, skill we're going to reveal these two. Please be any grade three rear guard. Yes! Lagrel, there we go, my boy. Here we go. Battle phase, attack the Vanguard for 10. Okay, that's expected. See, uh, draw, heal, something along those lines. I'll take a draw. Okay. 
Power to Lagra, I get a draw. Okay, we have lost about half our crits, so we're not good in that progress, but we are good in the progress of bullying Donji. So 23. Okay, so here's the issue that's gonna come down in a hot second. We're gonna have to essentially take on a full beating from Donji, which is not something I want to do, but we're gonna have to. Yeah, so there's Bruce. He probably has Unrivaled. So, okay, yeah, no, I'm minimizing this damage. We're, we're, unless he pulls the over, I'm not letting this hit. Because I need, I need to make sure that next turn when he goes all out with his things that have extra crits and his multi-attack that I'm fucking ready for it. So, you're not breaking through as long as you see the over. Okay, I don't like the fact you saw two heals. Especially because it brought you all the way down to one. But you don't have the over in hand, or you don't have it in your draft check, so it's fine. Here we go. Stand and draw. Okay, prime. Good. So if we make it to that point, we can use it. Okay, here we go. Ride. Apex Ruler Bastion. Skill. Re no. Revealed these three in order to draw a card. Now, do I prepare for Leonard? The answer is no. Okay, because I can't use Lagra right now. What we're going to do is this. Call, call, and thankfully I didn't accidentally hover over PG. Call, battle phase. In case this plan goes to shit, we're going to swing with the big one at the start for 30. This way, if I use double sparrows, for whatever reason that may be later on, I can set up my soul. Maybe it's in the sense of, you know, I'm using Prime after he Leonard the fuck out of my board, or Derek the fuck out of my board, or, you know, just nuke the fuck out of my board in general. Either way, soul charge one. Okay, that's fine. One to pass. Any triggers. Come on, any triggers. Any trigger, any trigger, any trigger, any trigger. Yes! Okay, draw trigger. Power to Vanguard, a draw card. If he sees another trigger, it's not worth restanding. Actually, it would be worth using the skill, though, because I think I can give it to a non-standing... I think I can give it to a standing grade 3. Well, he didn't see one, so we're about to find out if it's worth... Well, we're about to find out anyways if I can give it to a non-standing grade 3 or not. Uh, Ditch of Busada, there's only 3. Skill of Bastion Prime. Okay, yeah, so I can really pick any grade 3. So we're gonna... But we're gonna give it here for multi-attack. Okay, that gets rid of one heal. He'll probably guard the other one too, which is fine, because it gets rid of more guarding power overall. Either that, or he goes to the floor and it makes my job easier next turn. One of the two. Okay. He's lost two heals. He's lost two heals. He's lost, I think, two front triggers, and he's lost two crits. Okay, he's lost one front trigger, but he's lost three crits in exchange. So all around, that's a good plus. But I was right. He does have unrivaled Bruce. So here comes the hard stuff. Brainwash. This is the reason I stayed at one damage. I was ready for this. I specifically saved my entire, like, guard power and just, like, was ready for this. And, oh god, it's you. The card I rarely see people use. Okay, Soul Charge 1 and plus 5,000. Or Soul Charge 2 and plus 5. Fuck, it's Derek. Okay, he didn't call Derek from that, thankfully, but that does get plus 10 to that thing. Now, is Pandemonium Tactics coming? If so, I'm about to have a small heart attack. No, that's exact. No, my plan, my entire plan just went to shit. No. Well, that kind of fucked me beyond compare. Cause I, like I said before, my entire plan kind of revolved around Lagrel. Okay, if I see a trigger, it shuts down Megan. <laughs> Cool! Megan's shut down. All effects to Vanguard. I'm gonna guard the hell out of one of the Fusados. Because I, as we can see... Oh, you're just gonna do that. Well... That's fine, I guess. I guess this is fine. Okay. okay, there we go. I was right to predict the heal. Okay. Or a, a trigger in general. So we're at 33. That can't hit now unless he sees a trigger in response. Do I willingly take that bet? No, I don't. Even though if he pulls the over, I'm pretty much dead anyways. Which hopefully he doesn't pull the over. Or at least not here. Two triggers to break through. No trigger. No trigger. No trigger. Okay, but two of those are PGs. Two of those are PGs. 
I can't kill next turn. I can push for gain, but I can't no guard. Now, I have options. I can do one of two things. I could either not swing at Vanguard and just increase my hand, or I could try to just hit him as hard as possible and see what happens. There's a smart move here, and there's a dumb move. Okay, all in is far I need one of the two to show up now. That is neither of the two cards I just asked for. But this might be my only option. Fast and friendly. That's either a bad call or a good call. It's one of the two. There's no middle. Okay. Call, call, battle phase. I'm taking these down with me. Okay, guard this all you want. Actually, why would you even, you know, sure. Um, because I'm going to then swing at this one. We're going to see what happens. I don't, why would you guard that one, though? The one that's an on play, set the one. You know, I don't even care. 15. Okay, PG. Like we expected. See a crit, please. Come on, see a crit and a heal. Okay, there's Lagro. Could have used him five seconds ago. Okay, good. Recover a damage. Power here. I know what I'm doing is risky. I know what I'm doing is risky. No one needs to tell me this. And in hindsight, I should have swung with Fennel first, forced out the PG, and then... Wait, oh no, I... Oh no, I didn't know that's how it worked. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize Fennel wouldn't go off. Oh god. I did not prepare for this. Oh! I've got three cards that can guard. So here's the situation. I have to pull a trigger. Which in hindsight I'm questioning why I didn't just take the first attack, if that's the case, but don't ask me that. Okay, please legitimately pull a damage trigger. Pull a damage trigger. Pull a damage trigger. Pull any damage trigger. Thank you. Guard power, guard power, guard power. That's not guard power. Okay. Out of how many- okay. Most likely the over is still in deck. But how many crits are out? Because you seem to run rainbow. Three is in there. <sighs> He's almost guaranteed to pull a trigger is the thing. I have to live this. And if I do, I win. It had to be a front, really? Yeah, that's, like... Unless I see it... Okay, so now I'm dead. Because unless I see my own... Didn't I lose my own over earlier, or do I still have it? Okay. If I see my own over next turn, or not next turn, now, I can win. Oh, hell yeah, I'm taking this dude. That's one crit. Any triggers. Any trigger here works. That's actually perfect. That is actually perfect right now. That is legitimately perfect. If he doesn't pull a crit, I live. We did the math. If I am right, he has one crit left. Listen, Donji, do not pull a crit here. Do not pull a crit. I live, but he has two PGs in hand. Or he has one at least. He can actually have one. I'm taking this. I live by the skin of my teeth. 
But, um, yeah, this next turn's kind of it, so I need all of my drive checks to be on my side, pretty much. I also need to top deck, so if there's an Alden left, I need to see it, or a Sparar, either job works. Um, oh, okay, nope. Let me get it. Let me get this up. Um, here we go. I hope this is loud enough. I know it's coming from my phone. I'm sorry about that. Anyways. Final turn. I call it to the rear guard. Alden. I'll use... Alden skill. Hoping I'm in the right for this. To call Lagrel. Draw two cards. I knew I shouldn't have used it, but it's fine. And then your ability. Goes to soul. At 10,000 power. Swap circles. Call Alden. No skill. Call the over trigger. Battle phase. Alden, attack the Vanguard! Again, I say, I hope this is loud enough. This is literally as loud as it can go. But attack the Vanguard for 33,000! Okay. Now, Lagrell, attack the Vanguard! Using skill, counter blasting two, and adding the ability of drive checks. I rest fucking nothing, dude. Come on, baby. I also add 5,000 power on correctly. Yeah, 33,000. Or 43,000. Okay, there's the PG. Come on, I've got five drive checks. I need one of these to be a grade three. First check. Yes! There we go. Second check. It's a critical trigger. I give all effects to all of them, because I know that column's gonna probably be really fucking big. Then, oh wait, that's the only second check. Okay, but now skill of Brast and Prime, because in my drive check, a great thing was revealed. I discard from my hand, Bastion, in order to restand my entire rear guard and add 10,000 power. And now skill of Lagro, my critical is discarded from the hand. And now, continuing the onslaught, Bastion Prime, attack the Vanguard. Okay, he's guarding for a no pass. First check. No trigger. Second check. No trigger. Third check. Yes! Critical trigger! All effects to Lagrel! Okay, all I have to do is hit one of these. If one of them hits its game. I re again, I say, I really hope that music was loud enough. I know it was quiet, but that's just how it is on my phone. For whatever reason that is. 68 triple critical. Please take this. He's out of PGs. The question is, okay, let's give the assumption. You know what? Fuck logic. I don't care about thinking right now. 68. I won! I did it! Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, I did it! I actually did it! Oh, that was close as hell, but I did it! I am a god! Let's go! And the camera didn't glitch either! Yeah! I'm so happy right now, no joke. I see. So that's what you wanted to know. Yes, I wanted to know what you meant by making me leader. You have pure passion for card fight and, and for Vanguard. Who wouldn't get excited seeing someone like that? Qualify as a natural leader. That's why you made your decision. That's right. Tell me once more, Toya. What is the answer you came to? Oh, my heartbeat. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? I have this whole, like, roller coaster of a fight, and I have to fight Mire after it? Why? Why Mire? Of all characters, seriously. Like, why not early? Again, like, this is like. Toya! 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 My answer is. Disgusting. Huh? Mire sama. Mire. I can't stand you. I was supposed to fight Donji. What? M Mire, c calm down. 
Toya, I'm fighting you right now! Why me? It's only fair, isn't it? Hugging all my brother's emotions like that? It's beyond forgiveness! Donchi? Good luck, Toya. The sparks of fights are on the, are on the wind! Uh, I knew it was Tamari. Yeah. Huh? Tamari? It's weird that this is the only time she's doing this. A Valkyrie from Daybreak, burning with anger, has issued the challenge! It's Mire Maname! Uh, you better not go easy on me. Facing her is help! I don't know how the fuck I say that. How Madar and, ba and Blackout, monopolizer of Donji's emotions! It's Toya Ibata! Guess I have no choice. Why is this still going? Literally, they could have finished it on that. That was legit. A good ending. We had an actually good game. Where it came down to triggers. Because I, I think doing the math, I... Like what? Both those would have to be front triggers. And that would bring him to 53. No, it bring him to 63. I think he was short... Because I was at 68, right? I think he was short either way, 5k. But, like, at the max. Because, again, he was out of PGs and he had already seen the over. Which I'm now realizing I survived the overturn. Granted, the AI is stupid. For some reason, it swim with the 1 million first. But, like, I don't fucking care. So it let me win the game in the end. But... Yeah, I, I'm like just trying to calm down my heart after that. G give me a second, because great god, that actually gave me a small heart attack. Um, if I draw a PBD, I might, honest to god, just send it to Soul in the main. Um, I'm gonna try something. If this works, if it, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Be a good card. When I meant good card, I meant good card for attacking, not good card for guarding. Up. Oh. You live and you learn, but seriously though, why are we fighting Mire? This feels like such a random inclusion that they did just because like, oh wait, instead of fighting Haruka earlier, we should just have him fight Mire because Mire's an camera glitched, but all I was saying was like, you know, like Haruka's half a team leader, I guess, and we don't feel like going back and changing the fact that you fight Mire instead, so I'll just have Mire fight here, but that feels like just such a random and unimportant point to where they just, it feels like, in my opinion, they just did that to do that. They had no reason to have us fight Mire, in my opinion. And maybe it's gonna be revealed after the story or something, but I don't know. I just feel like that was like the most random inkling of thing and it, it in my mind, unless like it leads to something really good, it kind of just ruins the story. Cause that was a really good match, and I was all hyped up to finish it off and see like Toya's end screen thing. And in the end, I don't even get to see it because Mire has to be in the way. And now I know for sure we're gonna fight Yu Yu next, cause there's no way in hell Mire is the end of the story for this guy. And if Mire is the end of the story, then it really makes no sense. So we'll see. But ditch this. Ride Blast for Dark. Skill of Javelin first. Don't be in order. Okay, I will take the pro because it's still a target. I don't know why it auto calls it to back row, but whatever. Counter Blast 1, retire this. In case I choose not to kill Rear Guards this turn, I take out Travis with me. And then I call into main to hopefully proc off skills. I use her skill to send this Blast for Dark into my soul in order to draw two more cards. Okay, cool. That doesn't really help me too much. 17 to Vanguard with Twin Drive. Let one of these be a crit, let the other one be a heal. Please. That's neither of what I asked for. Okay, that is half of what I asked for. Uh, recover damage, power to the main. Now here's the thing. I know she has a shield in hand. She most likely has either a spear or a way to arm the spear from drop zone. But at this point, I don't care and I don't want her living long enough to kill me. So like, then again, doing it this way is not really the smartest thing either because yeah, the AI is going to block it and I could just kill the rear guard. You see, right now I'm just in like the mind of Mire really ruined this story. Yeah, that's the worst part too. Mire is all around my favorite female character from Overdress. And having to say that she just ruined this for me sucks. <sighs> why? Okay, why? Why would you willingly ditch the spear? And you lost the over out of it. You know what? I don't care. The AI is stupid. I... The AI has the audacity to force this fight on me. And it doesn't even try. You know, the worst part is too. I feel like this is payback for when I skipped over Mira because I wanted to finish this Donji story. Can you stop sacking heals for five goddamn minutes, Mira? 
Jesus Christ. And now she has a Persona Rider, a heal, and a shield in hand, and Gauze know what the other card is. Man, I'm just like... It's like the I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed, except I'm also mad, so I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying over here. But like, why was that necessary? Why is the, like, acknowledgement of Mire in this story required? Mire has consistently been involved in every single story. Why did she have to be here, especially after Donji's fight? Before, that would have been fine. Why after? It makes no sense to me of why she had to be here after. But whatever, I guess logic's irrelevant and they don't really care how this works out. Um, fuck it. Blaster Javelin, because I already have rear guards that I want to kill and just... I don't fucking know anymore. Kill, kill. Yeah, I regarded as two, and then... 15k, a crit. She can't shield this away auto uh, automatically. Some... or not 15k, but 10k and a crit. I now realize that I should have done this a little bit differently. Well, you live and you learn. Battle phase, let's just... Force out of 15, probably, right? Oh, she's gonna go to three. Great. Unless she, you know, pulls her last heal, considering she's already lost three of them in drive and damage checks, respectively. And then she has the over in soul. But there we go, crits. I can force out more guard power in numbers. Crit to Vanguard, power to here. Second check, a trigger, so the main can hit unless she sees two triggers. Okay, she sees any triggers, and the main fails to hit now. Something tells me this is a trigger. Okay, it's a PG, which is great. Second check. No trigger. Third check is probably going to be a trigger and a crit at that. I fucking knew it. And it's not worth swinging with the main outside to pan out the video just that little bit longer. But, uh, 20 to Vanguard. Okay, here's the deal. If Yu Yu is the next opponent, I will fight, and I will end the episode after that match. If Yu Yu is not the- and I will fight him immediately, by the way. But if- it's so fuck anyone else who exists. But if- Yu is not the next fight, if there is one after this, which I'd be damned if they let it finish on Mire, then I just call it a day and I guess Toya gets a full week of uploads because it's already episode 4 of Toya's story. I love that Toya gets all this screen time. I hate the fact that Mire is the reason for this. Okay, here's the thing. If she pulls double crits, I'm dead, but I have like... Well, I don't have to take this. So I won't. I was thinking about it for a second, but I'm like, you know what? No, fuck the AI. It doesn't deserve happiness. It ruined mine about five seconds ago. Why the hell does the AI think it deserves happiness? First check is a trick move. Cool. Second check is a crit or a heal. Okay, I'm glad it's not a heal. I was legitimately being serious about that earlier. But she's definitely going to have reason now to use Prevetta to do a bop damage, which I... Okay, I guess she fears for the Trick Moon's life then. I was actually wanting her to do the bop damage so I can bully her. But, um... Call this, I guess. Skill at 5,000 power. And I need two rear guards, right? Yeah, so... Hmm. Okay, I think I got a plan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call Sharon. We're not gonna use her skill. However, we will call a crit just to do plays. And also retire fodder. And then we're gonna swing at Vanguard for 17 just to force out the shield. This is the sole reason just to force out the shield. And then we'll see what we got from here. Because I think she'll probably guard the Vanguard. Well, she has to because it's a double critical. And then, you know, the... Um, I now realize I don't have Persona rides. But then she'll probably guard the Blaster Dark if I can see a crit with it, which I probably won't. Man, that's just disappointing, you know? And it feels like the audio is quieter. Did I turn it back up all the way or did I not? I honestly don't remember. Oh, no, I didn't. That's why it feels quieter. I could tell even though it was only 2% off. But, okay, she chooses to pass this. See, any triggers. Okay, well, screw me. Any triggers. Preferably crits. Thank you. Okay. I don't remember if she has a trigger in hand or not. Well, now she needs two, basically, to block this. So, Blaster Dark's gonna come in either... Well, we're guaranteedly dropping two cards from hand. Just depends on what. Okay, cool, I get rid of a PG. Is she Persona right last turn? I forgot. Or did she get the Persona in her drive check this turn? I don't remember. All I know is she has a spear in hand. I think she Persona her last turn. So we'll see. I also realize she's gonna kill my front row. But I knocked out three PGs total, so that's fine. Santa Drop, probably Persona Ride? Yep. Okay, well. 
that's I think either her last bav or her second to last bav. She is running low on soul. She can't do it again unless she like arms, which I know she can, but she's not going to. Okay, listen, I swear if you pull double crits here, the turn that I don't PG you. Because this turn I just don't feel like it. So no guard, and if you pull double crits, I am legit gonna cry. Okay. Second check. Yeah, she's definitely gonna go for game next turn. She can afford- she's gonna use Prevete because she can afford to, and then she's gonna go for game next turn. So I just gotta be ready for that. First check is a no trigger. Second check, preferably a draw trigger. That's not a trigger in general, but so good and bad at the same time. Okay, come on. Give me a draw trigger from this. It doesn't do much in terms of defense, but gives me offense. And that's exactly the opposite of what I want to see. Fuck. Okay. I kept this in the main for a reason, though. Um, it might be final turn. Who knows? Sadly, no Persona rides, but... Okay, Nemain, listen, I need you to get out here and kick ass. Skill, Counter Blast 1, I'm literally banking on this working. Send this to Soul, draw two cards. I hate everything. Battle phase. 20. I just now realized she's gonna just shield buff this, so there's no reason to. And now final turn was effectively useless, and she got a draw trigger at that too. So... You know what? We'll just burn that bridge when we get there, but I am just done right now with Mire. Just done. Call, skill, total plus 15k. Please just drop all your cards for this. I hate you. C triggers. Thank you. Okay, that actually lets me live too if she happens to survive this turn. <laughs> Now Blaster Dark is a two card drop, which is great. Second check is a no trick. Where were you five seconds ago when I needed you? Okay, she's probably gonna survive this, but in case she doesn't. Oh, cool. Don't live. Okay, I was gonna say, if she really pulls her last heal here, I'm gonna cry. Okay, are we done? Is the story over for whatever reason? It'll be annoying, but are we done? I lost. Even I was planning to hammer you out onto the ground. Huh? Fine, I'll let you off this one time. This one time? You took me seriously, and I think I understand what Donji sees in you. Huh? <laughs> but... You better not forget that Donji's mine, okay? Uh, okay? <sighs> let me guys, you, you. Fucking know it. Okay, I know, I'm just curious to see if there actually is anyone. I'm not gonna fight anyone else. Okay, listen, you, you, if you are not the last person, I'm gonna flip my, like, this right here. The thing that's holding my TV. Yu Yu made actions across the team. Hmm? Donji connected the teams that were at odds with each other. And I want to do something too. Toya? I was wondering if I really didn't need to make a change. Someone told me putting too much pressure on myself leads to destruction. Kind of flashback to this. Oh, someone taught me to move forward. I thought it was gonna be Yuki for a second. Someone said there's no need to worry if I have a place to call home. And someone said I don't have to put all these restrictions on myself. Yeah. Someone told me to enjoy Vanguard, not be tied down by a title. Huh? And so I've made up my mind. I'll be my own person. That's what I've come to. Toya. <laughs> to be honest, I still struggle with being team leader. I know that you accepted me as a leader, Donji. But trying to say but trying to tra but trying to stay true to myself has only made me struggle more. Right now, what I need is, is to keep testing myself. Something I realized that once I was in the outside world, so many fighters out there who can stir me up this much, and I want to meet even more fighters. I want to fight them more and more. Yeah. Do you remember you? You remember what? Something I told you once. That one. That you're more. That you're more fit to be a leader than I am. Well, that wasn't a lie. Toya, oh, yeah. I sensed a potential in you after that fight. So I want you to turn that feeling into something I can be certain about. I want to fight you, you, you. Huh? Uh -huh. As a leader, you can all trust in. And as a vanguard fighter, I want you to accept my decision. You, you. Donji. Okay, I'll do it. Here I come, you, you. Okay, listen. This better be the last one, for real. I I'm not joking. I don't want to sit through this more than I have to. But because it's out of respect for my boy, let's do this. Cracking my knuckles. Cracking my neck. 
I'm gonna bet he picks paper. Thank God I was right. I was about to pick rock because I assumed he was gonna pick scissors first. Okay, here we go. He gets the first attack, but I get the this. Okay, let's do it. Stand and draw. Ditching from my hand, hopeful Testudo. Ride four, and I pass the turn there. We're just gonna sit through this and trying to win against Yu Yu. Okay, he loses a heal, so we both lost 15k guarding power early on. Okay, see a crit. Let me see an Alden from my skills. Okay, that's step one. Now, from my skills, I need to see an Alden. But I also want to see a draw trigger in my damage check. But listen, if it's between a draw trigger and an Alden, I'm gonna, I, I want to see the Alden in my skill. Fuck. And it was a draw trigger I drew into two. Okay, that's fine though. Second check. No tr No! Two cards I needed and I lose both of them? Okay, at least let me draw into an Alden. Ride Rooks. Skill. Top, or reveal these two. Top card gets called to rear guard. Uh, of course it's a Bastion. Okay, it's fine though. I can probably just this. He'll probably, he might overdress and he might not because the AI is like 50-50 on it half the time. Attack the Vanguard for 10. Okay, I see my own draw trigger, which is great. Power up this. Okay, I've got grade threes. The issue is I don't have anything to pump rear guards with. Therefore, there's no point in calling rear guards outside just to pressure him and makes it so that he can't target certain things. But 23. Okay, that's two of... If I'm going to guess you use trigger lineup, I'm going to say he has seven crits. So that's two of seven out. Again, that's me guessing, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. Okay, those are the crit we knew about from before. Skill of Reno. Call Trickstar from deck. Probably gonna overdress it into either Arcs or Regular. Arcs it is, okay. Crown Plus 1, 5,000 power. Is he gonna call Zemena and add an Inspector to hand, knowing him? He doesn't. He goes right into the battle phase. Okay. No guard. Check, check. No trigger. Okay, as far as he in hand. Got it. Damage check. I know I don't run fronts, but can I see a draw? Uh, the worst part is I was originally thinking of saying a heal trigger too, but I realized it wouldn't work. Okay. Power. I am not letting you hit that. And next turn, we might need to sacrifice... Actually... Okay, well, there goes that plan. Um, Ditch. Right, Apex Ruler Bastion. Skill, I reveal these three to draw a card. Okay, Fano, that's fine. Because we're gonna ditch that fan out, because I need discard fodder, and now my grade threes have boost. Now here's where the issues come in. Do I go for the double crit play? The answer that I'm gonna stick with for now is yes. Battle phase. Forward 35, double critical. Here's why. I want to put Yu Yu in a situation where he's basically forced to guard everything early. Okay. That's annoying, especially because he actually gets the heal off. But it's fine, I guess. Okay, that knocks out of Irina. Um, it's only a one to pass, man. I see any triggers. Okay, come on, see any trigger, so it was worth doing that. There we go, baby. Because I, I did that specifically, hoping that... Because I was originally going to swing into rear guard, but I was like, you know what, maybe I can see a trigger. And thankfully I was right on that bet. Okay, but here's the issue. I don't have a Persona ride, and I don't have a Prime either. And I... And I willingly gave up my only way to draw in order to rush my opponent, who is now just pulling triggers to nullify my stand, which isn't good. Okay. On the bright side, though, I can force out an intercept, so there's that. Speaking of which, um... Bastion skill. Stand this, plus 10,000 power. Uh, we'll swing with this first, see what he does in response. Please intercept and drop a 5k. Okay, I'll take a double drop of that. And he's either gonna drop the arcs as an intercept or he's just gonna straight up guard to the hand. He's gonna drop as an intercept, great. Well, that knocks out three cards I have to deal with. But now he has Trickstar fodder, so there's that too. He has an Espar rating hand that we know about. Okay, he's definitely gonna get a Virena because we know he runs four of them. So Soul Blast one. Uh, now the question is what he's gonna kill. He's probably gonna kill one of the Spar R's. Because in this situation, where Sparar can add numbers and basically make the following turns more deadly and 
<laughs> okay, so you use banking on the defense. So that's him admitting that he can't really handle an all offensive. So if I can draw into fuck. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot you had this. Well, I need to draw a prime now to win this. That's not what I need to damage check either. And Esparidia, Esparidia. This is not good. So, here's a situation. I have to top deck into either a Persona Ride or into a Bastion Prime. That, that's lit- oh, I can't even guard this. Oh my god. Any trigger. Thank you. Okay. I think I might just have to one to pass him. I think one to passing is the only logical option. Or two to passing, here. Let me just add, I didn't mean to knock that down. Okay, let me just quickly go close my blinds and then pray to God that the 15k is enough. Please let that be enough to block. Please don't put everything on man. Okay, put that on the rear guard. Put that on the rear guard. Okay. So, okay, let's see. Does he pull a heal? Don't pull a heal. Okay, don't pull the over or a heal and I'm fine. That's fine. Okay, so here's the situation. If I top deck prime, I can win this. But I have to top deck prime. He's got two 15Ks. I really gotta see one now. If I'm gonna win this. Come on, game. I beg of you, for all that is fair in this world. Top deck prime, please. Yes! Nope, I'm playing it. I'm playing, I'm playing. I cannot believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. All in on the volume. All, every full will go into the cemetery now. Go right next to the computer for this one. Final time, bitch! Yeet! Right! Bastion Prime! At 2000 power, I call to the back row! Fusano! Battle phase! Bastion supported by Sparar! Attack the Vanguard! Okay, he guards with two triggers. That's fine. Now for now! Boosted by Sparar! Attack the Vanguard! No skill of for now! So a total of 33,000! Okay, complete guard. He definitely has a PG in hand. Come on, please. Let my drive check reveal grade threes. Or let you you take this. I will take either one. Bastion Prime, boosted by Fusado. Attack! Please. Come on. A grade three. Triple drive. First check. Critical trigger. All effects to Bastion Prime on the Vanguard Circle. Come on. Grade three so I can guarantee a win. Second check. Draw a trigger. Draw one card. Plus 10,000 power to Bastion. Please. A grade three. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a crit. All effects to Bastion Prime. Boys, you got no idea how much energy that is. I'm just gonna let this play out. <laughs> ah, I don't wait. Why does that happen? Every time I. Okay, set the controller down. Okay, we're good. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. Oh, that was hell. I'm a god for that. Fuck you, you, you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was terrified. That bar came out of nowhere. I swear, I was not ready for that shit. Oh, I now hate Amelia. I now understand. I've never been on the receiving end of that shit. I now understand how Amelia works. Ah, oh, that gave me a heart attack. I can't believe I won that. Okay, I'm gonna let the thing finish out, then I'll get back to the story. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, anyways, back to story, so I can not have a heart attack. <clears throat> Oh my god, that was banking it all in one move. <laughs> Thankfully he didn't PG that, if he did I was dead. 
<sighs> Thanks for not holding back. Because of that, I found someone I can entrust the blackout to. Yeah, no, no joke, you, you didn't hold back, because I've never seen someone, like, I've never seen you, you, Amelia, me before, so, like, genuinely, that was the first time I've experienced that face-to-face, -face, so, good job for you. You fucking terrified me, man. H hold on! So, you really are going to step down as leader? That fight with you, you made me want to be perfect with my vanguard. I always had this feeling inside of me wanting to take on a challenge, so I want to act for my own sake now. So, that I... Handing off leadership is the right thing to do at this times, like I once did. I'm sure the person you choose will accept that too. Huh? Yeah, you're right. So is he gonna announce you, you taking on the leadership? Yeah. What's everyone doing? All gathered here? Oh, it's Asuku. Oh, it's Asuku! You're fighting. Let me join in. I even brought Shinobu with- uh, Don't do this. Do not do this. What do you mean, even? I only- Finally found you, Toya Ibata. You? Masanori? Oh, it's Masaru. Oh, okay, so we're not doing this again. Masaru Akita has now arrived. What's that you get to Kanto? Yuki! 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 <laughs> it's been a while, everyone. <laughs> Haruka and Mirei, too! It's good to see you again. So he's gonna have a roll call, I guess? What, what's next, Donji? Guess this is gonna turn into a real exciting fight session. Yeah. Okay, so the only character whose name doesn't get said is Donji. Fair enough. So, is everyone ready? Take it away, Toya. Let's go! Stand up! Everyone, I'm guessing? VANGUARD! Yep, how did I know that's how it was gonna end? Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Oh my god, that is perfect. Well, that is, um, the end of all the stories, so there's not really much- Okay, that's beautiful too. There's not really much more I could say about this outside of it was fun, but there is a little bit more. Not in terms of story content, but in terms of something else we'll get to later. But for now, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire journey through Deer Days with me. And in the next one, there will be another Deer Days video. We will have a little surprise prepared. So I'll see you all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Court Fall Church, and I'll see you all then. Don't forget to stand up your vanguards.